Scruff Gooseberry. Scruff Gooseberry is one of the Munch Bunch. He lives in an old wooden box with his best friend Billy Blackberry. Scruff is a very scruffy gooseberry, and because he hates washing, he ha he's a very grubby gooseberry. On top of that, Scruff is also a very naughty gooseberry. One day, Scruff and Billy were out looking for mischief, as usual. They saw Spud talking to Sally Strawberry. He was asking Sally if she would like a lift to the fair in his car. I wish I had my own car, sighed Scruff. Any old car would do for me. We could have ever so much fun with it. Oh, never mind about that. Let's do some exploring, said Billy. It's too early to go to the fair yet. Yeah, come on, I'll race you. So they went to explore a corner of the garden shed where none of the Munch Bunch had ever been before. It was so dark and dirty that even the spiders didn't like living there anymore. But Scruff soon found lots and lots of dirty old treasures, so he liked it there very much. Suddenly, Scruff stubbed his toe on something very hard. Ouch! This old heap of rust has just trodden on my toe, he said, hopping about on one leg. So they started to clear all the things away to see what it was. They tugged and tugged until they freed the mysterious object. It's an old jeep, said Scruff. Come on, Billy, let's push it home and get to work on it. Yuck, what do you want that for? asked Billy in disgust. But just the same, he helped Scruff to push the jeep home. They found it a bit difficult to steer and push at the same time, which upset Corny on the cob. He was very annoyed when they accidentally ran over some of, his, some of his flowers on the way. After a while, they got the jeep home without causing too much trouble. We need to put some extra bits on it to make it look ve really good, said Scruff. You look after the jeep, Billy, while I go and see what I can find. We'll be going to the fair in style, just you wait and see. So Scruff took his wheelbarrow and set off to collect the things he wanted for his jeep. Tom, Tomato and Pete Pepper had just put their dustbins out, ready for the rubbish to be collected. Those dustbin lids would make pretty good hubcaps for my car, said Scruff. Well, you can't have them, said Pete angrily. But before they knew what was happening, Scruff had quickly put the lids in his wheelbarrow and hurried away. I'll bring them back tomorrow, he called. Then Scruff saw Casper Carrot. Can I borrow your hot water bottle, please, Casper? he asked. I need it to make the windscreen washers work on my new car. All right, Scruff, but be careful. Cars can be very dangerous, especially homemade ones, said Casper. Don't worry, you'll like my Jeep when you've had a ride in it, laughed Scruff. Just then Scruff noticed the sparkling new lamps which Ollie Onion had put up either side of his door. They'll make good headlights, he thought, so Scruff decided to borrow them. But when Ollie came out and saw Scruff taking his lamps, he was very upset. Don't cry, I'll bring them back tomorrow, said Scruff. Next, next Scruff needed a wing mirror, and he knew that Emma Apple had lots of mirrors. So he peeped through Emma's open door to see if the coast was clear, and when he saw she was standing on, on her head practicing yoga, he quickly grabbed the nearest mirror and ran away. Emma didn't even see what was ha had happened. Now all I need is a door for the driver's side, said Scruff to himself. One of Corny's garden gates will do. He won't mind if I just borrow one for a while. But Corny did mind. Come back with that gate, Scruff Gooseberry. I'm fed up with you and your old banger, he roared. First you run over my flowers and now you take my gate. Scruff didn't waste any time getting away from there. Scruff wheeled his collection of valuable treasures home. And then he and Billy set to work. They wanted to have the jeep working properly in time to go to the fair that afternoon. At last it was time to go to the fair. Some of the Munch Bunch had met, hoping to go to the fair in Spud's car, but only half of them had managed to squeeze in. The rest stood there, feeling very upset. Then they heard a funny noise. Pop, pop, bang, bang, pop. And then round the corner drove Scruff and Billy in their battered old jeep. Would anybody like a lift to the fairground? asked Scruff with a grin. Yes, please, replied Emma. Well, hop in then, said Scruff, and we can all go together. 
Hooray! They all cor chorused, and they sang all the way to the fair. They had forgotten all about Scruff being naughty and borrowing their things without their permission, and even Corny forgave him for running over his flowers. When the fair was over, Scruff drove them safely home, and they all agreed that the best ride of the afternoon was in Scruff's car. The end.